Greetings, Boogie fans! Michael here, and I have a different kind of video for you guys today. If you're watching this video on the day it came out, today is the very last day of 2016. So, like most years for most people, I'm feeling pretty reminiscent uh, this time of year. So, I'm actually going to have two reminiscent type videos for you guys today. There's one that's coming out later today, which is going to be a top 20 best M&J TV moments from 2016. I am recording this before I've made the video, so it's possible it may change from being a top 20, may end up being a top 10, top 15, kind of depends on which moments I can find and put in. But anyways, that video is coming later today, just kind of a compilation of some of the best moments that I think happen in my channel and that you guys think happen in my channel over the course of this year, so uh, be sure to check back here for that. But this video is another kind of reminiscent video where I... I'm going to be talking about my different playthrough teams for each generation of Pokemon that I've played all throughout my Pokemon life and history. One of my favorite aspects of Pokemon is the team building. Not like team building, but like competitive, but just like creating this like very, like all sorts of different monsters squad that's like your team that you like fight through and like use different monsters for different battles. And it's like, that's probably my favorite aspect of Pokemon. And so I thought it would be fun just to tell you guys about some of the teams, well about all of the teams that I've had throughout my history for the first time I've played through games. Um, I'm not, I'm obviously played through several games multiple times, but I'm only going to do it for the first time, um, since that's what just makes sense to do. So without further ado, I'm going to jump in right with Gen 1, but before I do that, be sure to comment down below what some of your favorite teams you've had throughout the years have been. Uh, just because I think that's really interesting. I want to know yours too. And be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you have not. But anyways, now actually without further ado, I'll start off with Gen 1. So if you've been around my channel for a while, you will know that I didn't actually get my start in Pokemon until Gen 3. My very first ever Pokemon game was Pokemon Ruby. Um, so therefore... I didn't play Gen 1 when Gen 1 was new. However, I did play through Gen 1, my first ever time playing through a Gen 1 game, earlier this year, back in February, March, when the Red, Blue, and Yellow games came to the Virtual Console on the 3DS. And I got Yellow, because Yellow has the most Pokemon options, and Charizard can learn Fly in it. So, my team for Yellow, uh, it changed a bit throughout the course of it. So. It was Pikachu, Blastoise, Charizard, Venusaur, Alakazam, and Tauros. Um, obviously the three starters, because, you know, they make sense, make sense to use them. Alakazam, because I knew it was really OP in Gen 1, being psychic type. And Tauros, because I also know, I've always really liked Tauros. And in Gen 1, Tauros was, like, the best it's ever been. Um, thanks to its speed, it gets a critical hit 25% of the time, and attacks any attack. And it was just like, it's one of the best Gen 1 competitive Pokemon, so I thought it'd be fun to play through with it. However, the team did change a bit as, over the course of, over the course of me playing through. Um, Venusaur, I replaced with Rhydon, simply because Venusaur, I wasn't really using him very much. Um, and also, I had gotten past the point in the game where he was really good against things. Um, really the only trainer left that he was gonna help with was Giovanni, and I already had Blastoise for that. So I did decide to leave Venusaur for Rhydon, um, who was very useful. Um, a lot of great, powerful, like, Earthquake and stuff like that. Oh, actually, no, that's wrong. Uh, TMs only had single use, and I wanted to teach Tauros Earthquake, and I was like, what do I do with Rhydon? You know, he doesn't learn it by level up, and I can only use his TM once. So what I did was I realized that back in Gen 1, Dig had the same base power as Earthquake. So I was like, oh, okay. I'll teach Tauros Earthquake, and Rhydon already knows Dig, because I used the TM on it a long time ago, and these NPCs are never going to switch out, you know, because like, oh, the Dig's coming. So I'll just stick with Dig. So my Rhydon was the Digger, and my Tauros was the Earthquaker. And the other change I made was I discovered that Pikachu can't evolve into Raichu in yellow. Fairly, 
far into the game. I think I had like six or seven badges when I discovered this, and because I, I was like looking at a list of unobtainable Pokemon, I'm like Raichu. What? No, I was gonna evolve it into Raichu once it learned all, like Thunder or whatever. Once it got to the highest level, what? I can't evolve it, and so I was very upset about that. And I was just like, screw you, Pikachu. You're a douche. I'm getting Zapdos. So I caught Zapdos and used it. <laughs> so my final team was Zapdos, Blastoise, Charizard, Rhydon, Alakazam, and Tauros. So that was my Gen 1 team, the first ever time I played through Gen 1 back in February and March. Um, for Gen 2, as I mentioned, I did not play through Gen 2, and I have actually yet to play through a Gen 2 game. Um, I know I said every generation, but it's like, I did play through Soul Silver, so I'll talk about that when I get to Gen 4, but I never played Gen 2. Um, if and when, if or when they come to the Virtual Console on the 3DS, I do plan to play through one of them in their entirety, um, but I've never played a Gen 2 game, so sorry about that. I've actually only ever played through Johto once in my entire life, and that was my first playthrough of Soul Silver. So. We're gonna move on from Gen 2 to Gen 3 to Ruby, my first ever Pokemon game where I didn't have a team. I played through with my Sceptile, Blade, and that's what made it my favorite Pokemon. Sceptile uh, just got so overleveled that he could beat pretty much anything, and that was my team. Leaf Green, my first time playing through Kanto, I did the same thing but with Blastoise. Squirt the Blastoise, really overleveled knocked out everything because he was so over leveled and it was the only Pokemon I was using so yeah Ruby and Leaf Green were the fir like my first ever Pokemon games and I didn't really understand the concept of a team but then if I after that I played Emerald and Emerald was the first time I was like okay maybe I should use other Pokemon so I only had a team of three that I used regularly and that team was Swampert I picked a different starter this time Breloom uh, one of my favorite Pokemon. I like Breloom a lot. And Torkoal, another Pokemon I like a lot. Uh, got the fire, water, grass thing going, but with, you know, secondary typings that covered a lot more. Well, fighting in ground, Torkoal was just fire. But it was a pretty solid team. I actually, ironically, you know, they were played through Pokemon, so they, like, had random IVs, random natures, random EVs. And I actually got two silver symbols in the Battle Frontier with these three guys, which really hyped me up because that was challenging to do. I got it in the Battle Pike, um, which was the Lucy, the Sviper building, and the Battle Castle, where you don't choose the moves. You just click and your Pokemon chooses the moves for you, depending on its nature. So, that was my Emerald team. Now let's move on to Gen 4. My original Diamond team. First time I played through Gen 4, really liked this team. It was... Torterra, Staraptor, Luxray, Floatzel, Dialga, and Driftblim. However, later in the game, shortly before the 8th gym badge, I believe, I got tired of Driftblim because he, he sucked. Driftblim was so bad. <laughs> and he wasn't really contributing much because like I already had the flying type with Staraptor, and so I actually ditched Driftblim, hatched the Riolu egg that Riley gives you and leveled it up and friendship evolved him into a Lucario and made that my new sixth member of the team. So the final team was Torterra, uh, my second favorite starter behind Sceptile, Staraptor, Luxray, Floatzel, Dialga, and Lucario. So that was a pretty awesome squad. I have a very fond memories of that team. Um, and so that was my diamond team. I like those Pokemon a lot. Now Platinum, Platinum's an interesting situation because it's actually very unfortunate. I had Platinum and I played through with the team, beat the game with it, and then when I decided to start over my Diamond, I transferred my like favorite Pokemon from that, like so my original team that I just described, along with some other important Pokemon, onto my Platinum and then started over Diamond, because I actually completed the National Dex on Diamond and was just like, I don't really have anything to do anymore. Let's just start over and play through it again. So that's what I did, however, I lost that copy of Platinum, um, which was very sad. I uh, lost it and never ever found it. So I lost the original team, and I also can't remember the team that I used for that first team, of, uh, that first playthrough of Platinum. The only thing I can remember is that I started with Infernape. Um, so I can't remember that team. However, I got a new copy of Platinum and played through it again, and I do know this team <laughs> because I still have it, and I looked at the Hall of Fame. 
This team was Torterra. I picked Torterra again because by this time I had already played through Diamond twice, because remember I, I started it over, and the first thing of Platinum. And over the course of that, chose all three starters. I chose Empoleon for my play, playing through again of Diamond. Um, so this time I was like, I'm going back to Torterra. So I picked Torterra again. I used Floatzel and Staraptor again. As you can see, I like those Pokemon. In the last three, I switched it up. I used Raichu. Um, never done it before, wanted to. I used Magmortar, because I've always thought Magmortar was a cool Pokemon. Um, and I used Giratina, because Giratina is cool, and I have a tendency to use the mascot legendaries. Um, so that was my Platinum team. And then Soul Silver. The Soul Silver, the only time I've ever played through Johto. I started with Typhlosion who is my favorite Johto starter, and the best. He's cool. He's so cool. Um, I used Ampharos, classic Johto electric type. I used Golem, first time I've ever used a Golem. I used a Poliwrath, uh, got the water fighting type. And then Scizor, another Pokemon I think is really cool. And Lugia. I caught Lugia and added it to the team, and used it to beat the league. However, after the league, I caught Suicune and actually replaced Poliwrath with Suicune just because Poliwrath kind of sucked. He like he didn't do anything in the league. I, he may have hit the field once. Um, and so I was just like, Poliwrath, I'm not really doing any much. Suicune's cool. I'm going to use Suicune. So I did. So the final team, the final team that I beat Red with was Typhlosion, Ampharos, Golem, Suicune, Scizor, and Lugia. So pretty solid team. Um, I have fond memories of that team. I think it was really cool. I liked... I also have, you know, like, remember them following me outside of battle a lot, which is something I really, really liked about those games that I hope is a feature that returns at some point. But anyways, moving on from that, Gen 5. My first Gen 5 game was White Version, and I really liked this team. This team was Samurott, uh, my favorite uh, Unova starter. Zebstrika, one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, because zebras are cool and electricity is cool and it's an electric zebra. That's awesome. Archeops, I uh, thought it was really cool, the Archaeopteryx prehistoric Pokemon. Ferrothorn, Pokemon I thought was really interesting. Conkeldur, and Crocodile, or as I like to say, Crocodile. Um, so if you've been watching my Moon Wonderlock, you'll see why I was so excited to get that Sand Dial, because last time I used a Crocodile was my first playthrough of White. Um, I actually, when I first beat the game, because if you remember in Black and White, when you go through the league, you don't actually... You beat the Elite Four, but then after that, you have to, like, finish Team Plasma once and for all. I used... They give you the option to add Zekrom to your team. Excuse me. So I did. I added Zekrom, and I sent Zebstrika to the box. Just because I thought it would be more epic and appropriate if I used Zekrom to beat Enz Reshiram, which I did. Um, but then... After that, I just kind of put Zephyron back in the box and never used him again and added Zebstrika back. So, the main team I consider is Samurai, Zebstrika, Archeops, Ferrothorn, Conkelder, and Crocodile. So, a really solid team that I liked a lot. So then, this is an interesting situation here. So, I actually got black, I got white, and then I got black. Um, spring break my junior year, I we went to London, and I had a really long flight and nothing to do in it. So, like, the morning before we left, I went to the store and bought black and played through it. Um, but when I was making this video, I was having trouble remembering who was on which team, who was on black, and who was on the black two team. Because I've kind of, I kind of traded between them for various reasons, and I didn't have access to like my first Hall of Fame completion in black two because there was no first game clear option, um, like there was in black and white, and it only saves like a set amount of Hall of Fames, and I had like done more than that. So it doesn't save the first one, which I thought was really stupid. Um, so I had to do some detective work. And Black 2 was an interesting game for me because I actually used more than six. I did a rotation. Um, kind of like what Gary does in like, you know, he's like famous for doing that in the original series. And I just thought that was you know, something I wanted to try. So I had quite a lot of Pokemon that I used. Um, I do not remember which six I used for the league. Um, but these are ones that I used at various points throughout the story, and all of them ended up being at least, like, level 50 or 55. So, that team was Samurott. The reason it's Samurott again is because I used Superior in the black playthrough that I mentioned, and I didn't want to use Embor because I hate Embor. So, I used Samurott, Sawsbuck, 
an Ampharos again. Crobat, the first time I ever used Crobat, one of my favorite Pokemon, first time I ever used it in a playthrough. Zoroark, the Zoroark from N, really cool Pokemon. Flygon, another Pokemon I've always liked and used it for a playthrough in the first time. Sock and Cobalion, I used both of them. I used Sock and then I caught Cobalion, and then I kind of used Cobalion more than Sock because it had like more tight coverage with the steel. Behegem and Gigalith. I had actually forgotten that I used Gigalith in Black 2 when I said back in my uh, um, my Gaia playthrough, I used Peter the Rock and Roll event, Boldor, then Gigalith at the very end. Gigalith is one of my fa is my favorite rock type Pokemon. Um, and I had forgotten that I had used it in Black 2 because I'm pretty sure I didn't bring it to the league. Um, and so, yeah, that was my massive Black 2 squad. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. That's like the best memory I've got for this. Um, and so then moving on from that to Gen 6, my X team, my X team is not one of my favorites. I don't think I used as many, I don't know, I didn't feel as attached to this team. I don't really know why. Um, I feel like I should have used more new Pokemon. Um, but anyways, my team was Greninja, which is the best Gen 6 starter, obviously. Um, I used a Talonflame for a lot of the story. I really liked Talonflame. Um, but I also got Charizard, and so I kind of actually switched between them. I would kind of like trade them off. For example, I used Talonflame to beat the Grass Gym Leader, but I used Charizard in the League, that kind of thing. Mega Charizard X is what he primarily was. I used a Go-Goat, a Helioptile, which I got to like level 47 as a Heliolisk before I decided to look up that it evolved with a Thunderstone. <laughs> so he was a Helioptile at the end of the, <laughs> the game. The Lucario you get as a gift from Corina. Um, in retrospect, I wish I hadn't used that. And Xerneas. Um, which is a really cool fairy type. It is my second favorite fairy type behind Alolan Ninetales. Um, so it was an all right squad. I thought it was, you know, not super attached to it, but I thought it was a cool team. And then Omega Ruby uh, gave me a chance to play through Hoenn with a full team, a full team of six, which I like hadn't done before really. So obviously I used Sceptile again, Blade. Named, named the Sceptile Blade, obviously. Um, Manectric, cool electric dog. Crobat again, one of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite Pokemon. I used a Gyarados for one of the first times ever, an Agron, and a Galate. I actually like traded a Dawnstone from my ex to my my Omega Ruby because normally you can't get the Dawnstone until you like beat Wally in the Victory Road. So I traded a Dawnstone so I could get a Galade earlier on. So that was my team. I think that was a pretty s solid team. I like that team. Interestingly enough. The only member of that team that cannot Mega Evolve, and that I obviously never Mega Evolved at any point, was Crobat. So, that was cool. I like, Mega Evolved a different one for each battle of the League. I thought that was really cool. Like, the very first battle, I think I Mega Evolved Gallade, um, cause Dark type, Fighting type. Second one, I think I Mega Evolved Gyarados, uh, cause Dark type, Mega Gyarados is Dark crunching stuff to oblivion. Uh, I think the Glacia battle at Mega Vault Manectric, and then the Drake battle at Mega Vault Sceptile, and the Steven battle I don't actually remember. Might have been Gallade, might have been Gyarados, might have been Agron. I don't know, but it was cool because I just like changed around which Mega I used, which was a lot of fun. And then lastly, but most certainly not least, my Gen 7 Pokemon Sun team that a lot of you probably already know because you watched my playthrough. But anyways, this is one of my favorite teams. I, I like feel like more emotionally attached to this team than most any other team I've had. I don't know why I got so attached to them. Um, maybe it was just like sharing the, the team with you or like, you know, they're just cool Pokemon and like the team like changed in ways that I didn't think it would, like having two bug types and two ghost types, something I never thought I'd have on a team. Um, and the nicknames, I just, I, I love this team. But in case you missed it from my son playthrough, I had Sammy the Decidueye, Havoc the Vikavolt, I love Vikavolt, oh my god. Um, Kenai the Lycanroc, midday form. Uh, Melody the Salazzle, which I had to, 
my girlfriend Jubilee had to trade to me because I, for the life of me, could not find a freaking female Salandid. <laughs> she found two. Um, the Mountain, the Palisand, which is one of my favorite nicknames I've ever given to a Pokemon, and Xena the Araquanid. And then at the very end of the game, I added Solgaleo to the team, which I used instead of Salazzle for the League, just because it matched up against the types that are, or, well, I thought it would. I was expecting the four Elite Four to be the Kahunas. They were not the Kahunas. Um, but he still ended up being very helpful. I nicknamed him Nebulon because it's Nebby. Um, and I just thought he matured, so it should still be a nod to that name, but just, like, make it sound more badass. And then lastly, I wanted to list him on here, because I did use him for a solid chunk of the team, was Hero the Shiny Gumshoes. I found a shiny young goose in the second episode of my Let's Play, which is the most spectacular thing to ever happen to me in Pokemon. Um, and I had him on the team for a while, but eventually I did have to bench him. Even though I love that Gumshoes, I don't like other Gumshoeses. The only Gumshoes I like is Hero. <laughs> um, but I had to bench him just because he wasn't, he's, Gumshoes just is not a strong Pokemon. Um, and I needed more type coverage than the normal type who knew a couple dark moves. <laughs> so I did bench Gumshoes. I said this in my playthrough, it's kind of like, you know, if you're the coach of a basketball team and your son is on the team, you love your son, you want him to do well. But if he's not that good of a basketball player, you, you you can't start him just because you're the coach and it's your obligation to do what's best for the team. You love your son and you still care for him, but you can't start him. And that's how I felt with Gumshoes. You know, I wanted him to be good. I wanted him to be good, but he just could not be um, just because of the, bio the biology of his base stats. Um, so that was disappointing, but I love that Sun team. I will always have very fond memories of all of these Pokemon, and I still try to use them regularly when doing various things in my game. So I love that Sun team. I really like all of these teams. Um, you've noticed probably some themes of certain Pokemon that have reappeared a lot, um, but I do like having varieties. Um, in future playthroughs, I always want to try and do a lot more variety. I like that my current moon team in my Wonderlock. Um, I mean, who knows who's going to die, but I feel like that has a solid variety. Uh, there's a solid chunk of Pokemon that I have used very little before, um, which is always fun for me. But anyways, guys, those are my teams. As I said at the beginning of the video, please comment below some of your favorite playthrough teams that you've used in games, because I really think that stuff is interesting and I love hearing about that. So comment below. If you enjoyed this video, I would very much appreciate it if you left a like um, and subscribe if you have not, if you have watched all the way through this, that would be cool if you subscribe because obviously you care what I'm, about what I'm saying. <laughs> so you should totally subscribe if you have not. That is the end of this video. Thank you guys so much for a wonderful 2016. I will see you back here for the best moments video in a couple hours and that is all I have for now. So till next time, you fans. Gotta catch them all! Everybody, 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 everybody wants to get down.